This is Kristen Peake with Rivals.com here with uh, James Wiseman, center for Memphis. How does that feel instead of me saying number one player in the country, finally you can say you're a center at Memphis? It feels great <laughs> just being a college player, just getting used to the system. Uh, I'm four weeks in right now, summer school, summer class, and stuff like that, so I'm really having a great time. So we're here at Gatorade Player of the Year Awards. I cannot even believe like what this honor must mean to you. I mean, yeah. we're talking about LeBron's won this, Ben Simmons, Cat, mm -hmm. RJ last year. What does it feel like to be in that company? It's true, a blessing just to be in this category with great players. Um, I talk to RJ Barrett almost every day. So he teaches me a lot, I ask questions. And really just to be in that category is really historical for me. For someone like RJ who's now gone through the college process and now he's a pro, yeah. like you guys talk every day like, is it just about like video games and stuff, or does he actually give you advice on how to handle it? Um, just about the NBA, how to approach myself as a player. Really just ask him NBA questions, like how, to, how does he approach the game, yep. and, and like how should I translate into my game. So really just trying to get a lot of information. Okay, so you've been on campus now for a little yeah. bit. How's practice been? Practice has been intense. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, we've got immense talent on our team. We've got yep. great talent. So we just competing every day, trying to get after it, and just trying to build our chemistry up. There's a lot of hype surrounding you guys, and I know with this freshman class, I mean, you know Lester, you know yeah. DJ, yeah. I mean, uh, who else is coming in? Precious at you, of course. Boogie is a West Coast kid. Did you know his game that well when he came in? So, funny story, last year at Peace Jam, well, we played him and like he dropped like 25, 30 points <laughs> on us. I was like, who is this kid? So I just started watching him after Peace Jam and I mean, he's a great talent. He can shoot the ball. He's a playmaker, and he's a great person overall. Were you part of his recruiting when he decommitted from Duke? Were you like, bro? Yeah, I was a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> and for those like those Memphis fans that don't know his game, like obviously he's one of the best shooters coming in. Yeah. But is he going to shoot lights out? Do you think in the season? What's his game look like? Yeah, he's going to shoot lights out. I mean, we're just trying to build our chemistry up, trying to be a collective unit. But as a player, he's just phenomenal. I mean, he he. I mean, he has great vision yep. for a guard. Yep. And I mean, just for him to just be that small, but so agile and to be able to do all things is just amazing. Who is your toughest competition in practice, Ben? My toughest competition, um, I'll say Lance Thomas. Lance Thomas was there last year. He was red shirted, but I mean, he's a great player. He's battling with you? Yeah. You dunked on him yet? Yeah. <laughs> Has he dunked on you? Have you is yeah. it even? Okay, all right. So <laughs> it's, it's pretty even. <laughs> and I've seen you guys have really been getting after it with the conditioning, sand workouts and the weight room, mm -hmm. maxing out on reps. Where have you seen the most difference in your game because of the conditioning and the added weight training? Being more agile, I mean, being more uh, quick on my feet. And really, yeah, just yeah, just my agility has went up a lot. It's just getting faster, getting stronger in the weight room. And just really my upper body is getting better as well. Penny Hardaway, Coach Penny and Mike Miller. Like, what they've built there is unbelievable. What is it about those two leading this Memphis program that made you and everyone else in the freshman class want to join it? I mean, that's just a, a terrific tandem itself. You got Mike Miller and Penny Hardaway. I mean, they are NBA X legends, so to get information from them, it's truly a blessing, so I really just take advantage of it every day. Okay, I know a game that I'm looking forward to. If I can't get there, I'm definitely going to be watching is the Georgia at Memphis game. Yeah. With Ann Edwards, I mean, I know you know him. Mm -hmm. How does a guy like you, a center, start or stop him in the lane when he's driving? Really just trying to uh, just close up the <laughs> seams on him. I mean, he's a great player. Yeah. Just trying to close up the seams so he won't get through, trying to play tight defense on him, and really just trying to protect the paint once he comes in the paint <laughs> and try to do the best I can. All right, ultimate goals for next year. Obviously, national championship is the ultimate goal, but what else do you guys want to accomplish? Really just to have long-term long, long, long -term relationships as just for each other and really just trying to be there for each other just after basketball and just make sure we contact each other every day. I mean, I feel like I wish the basketball gods will give us our Kentucky-Memphis matchup yeah. in the tournament. How crazy would yeah. that be? That would be insane. <laughs> I mean, if that actually happens, I can't wait. All right, James, thanks so much. Best of luck. We'll be watching you closely. All right, thank you. For more information on James Wiseman, keep it here at Rivals.com.